Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to Reconciliation of Cost and Financial Accounts chapter. Now in the previous video, we have solved a problem and we have discussed the concept of reconciliation, what is meant by reconciliation, why do we do reconciliation. Yes, we have discussed everything. Now in that video, the problem was that I have spoken in Hindi a lot yeah, while solving the problem. So because of that, some of the students are facing issues okay, to understand the solving part. Yeah. So now in this video, I'm going to stick to English only so that everyone can understand. All right. So see here, it's very simple. This question is, you know, as you can see, losses are given. So let's solve this problem. But before that, I have to show you the format once again and the technique So see the format over here. What is the format? Simple particulars column and amount column, right? So you have to start off with one profit and try to reach at another profit. So how are you going to do that? You have to add some transaction and deduct some transaction. Simple as that. Now, I will recommend you to start off with the costing profit or costing loss, whatever that is given in the question, right? But it's your wish. You can do anything you like. Yeah. So now the profit which you achieve, which you arrive at, that is called target profit. Yeah. This is called target profit okay so this is the format and then you also know the relationship right relationship between the profit and income and expenses and loss and income and expenses yes relationship of profit with the income is positively related yes when income increases profit increases simple common sense and when expense increases profit decreases yes and then loss and income are negatively related yes when income increases your loss will decrease and when expense will increase your loss will increase simple common sense yeah easy then the technique the main technique see how to add or subtract the transaction that is what you have to understand now the transactions will be given to you in the question you have to understand and do it properly what to add what to subtract that's the most crucial part of this reconciliation statement right so see here it's very simple to understand and do it see the first thing that you have to do when you see all these transaction yeah all these transactions then the first thing that you have to do is you have to identify the transaction whether that transaction is an expense or income yeah identify and then the second thing is you have to check the impact of transaction the effect of that transaction how does that transaction affects our profit yeah because of the transaction is the profit is increasing or decreasing that is what you have to see clear if profit is given you have to check the impact on profit if loss is given like in this question then you have to check the impact on loss clear then the third thing is what to add or subtract see add or subtract the transaction depending upon the impact on target profit or loss what is target profit or loss this one the profit or loss which you arrive at yeah whatever impact your transaction will have on target profit for example a transaction has negative effect let's say because of the transaction the profit according to financial accounts decreases decreases minus then you have to subtract that transaction simple as that okay whatever that is happening to this target profit that is exactly what you have to do okay here if it is plus plus here if it is minus minus all right that's all that's technique okay yeah add or subtract depending upon the impact on target profit or loss now while solving the problem you will see how simple this is and the pro tip see here impact on costing profit or loss whatever transaction is there and the effect it has on costing profit or loss the impact on financial or profit or loss of that same transaction will be always opposite okay suppose a transaction is there and it is you know affecting positively on costing profit costing profit is increasing because of the transaction then always financial profit will decrease because of that transaction the same transaction okay the effect is always opposite clear if one transaction is causing this profit to increase then this profit as per financial account will decrease clear okay so now let's solve the problem you will understand this is very simple all right whatever effect is there on target profit do that exactly right now let's solve the problem let's go to the problem now let's solve the problem see the question over here from the following prepare a reconciliation statement so now here we have got net loss as per cost accounts 2,75,840 and net loss as per financial accounts 3,50,472 these two losses are of only one company but they are different yes 
loss as per cost accounts loss as per financial accounts why is it different because of these transactions so what do we have to do now we have to prepare reconciliation statement and reconcile these two losses together yeah by taking these transaction into consideration so let's start see the first transaction that we have is a works overhead under recovered in cost accounts yes so now first thing that you have to do according to our technique is identify whether it is an expense or income so now overhead means expense all right if you see the word overhead that means it's expense so this first transaction is an expense under recovered means it has been recorded less in cost accounts recorded less expense if it is recorded less then what is the impact on costing loss now here they are exactly talking about cost accounts so you have to see the first connection between costing loss all right so expense is recorded less under recovered recorded less so that what will happen now on costing loss what is the impact costing loss will be less yes expense and loss have positive relationship if expense is recorded less then the costing loss will also be less minus yes then what i told you the pro tip the pro tip was that the effect on costing loss and financial loss is exactly opposite yeah if here impact is minus decrease effect then here it will be increase effect yes so here if it is minus then on our target loss financial loss it would be plus clear yeah so this transaction first transaction will be added because financial loss is not affected by anything yeah because this thing has happened in cost accounts yeah and costing loss has you know it has been changed but financial loss has not changed it has remained the same it has remained more only all right so now this transaction will be added because here it is plus you have to add that transaction works overhead under recovered in cost accounts right so this is the solution here so you have to make one column you have two columns particulars and amount column right and you have to start off with the cost account loss net loss as per cost account and this first transaction will be added works overhead under recovered in costing accounts 4992 as given in the question simple then the second transaction we have is depreciation overcharged in cost accounts depreciation is an expense overcharged means it has been recorded more in cost accounts yeah so expense is recorded more in cost accounts that means our costing loss has been increased yes if expense is recorded more then loss will also be more positive relationship simple common sense yeah so what will be the effect on financial loss impact on financial loss exactly opposite minus yeah so this transaction will be subtracted because whatever effect the transaction has on the target profit or loss and in this question our target is financial account loss yeah financial loss so whatever effect the transaction has on our target loss that is exactly what we have to do add or subtract so here the second transaction has negative effect yeah minus effect on financial loss so we have to subtract this transaction depreciation overcharged in cost accounts and the amount is 2080 rupees see here depreciation overcharged in cost accounts 2080 rupees simple then the third transaction we have administrative overheads recovered in excess in cost accounts 2720 so now overhead means expense recovered in excess matlab it means you have recorded more okay recovered in excess all right so admin overhead recovered in excess recorded more in cost accounts so what would happen to our costing loss expense is recorded more that means our costing loss is more expense more loss more simple positive relationship so now what is the effect on financial loss exactly opposite here it is plus then here it would be minus this transaction has to be subtracted because it has negative impact on financial loss yeah so this transaction the third transaction c admin overheads recovered in excess admin overhead recovers admin overhead over recovered or recovered in excess the same thing in cost accounts will be subtracted right 2720 simple okay then we have d interest on investment recorded in financial accounts now see 
there are certain items you know that are purely financial items such as goodwill return of dividend received income tax paid interest on investment bank interest you know these are purely financial items which has nothing to do with cost accounts so always they will be recorded in financial accounts okay now here in this d transaction they have specifically told you that interest on investment is only recorded in financial accounts so you can directly see the impact on financial loss okay whatever impact it has you can do that yes but what if you know they don't give that interest on investment that's it then you have to understand that this is a purely financial item it has only been recorded in financial accounts only and you have to treat it accordingly okay so now see here d interest on investment recorded in financial accounts now what is interest on investment expense or income income because you get interest on investments yes interest on investment is income income is recorded in financial accounts and you know the relationship between loss and income is negative so if income has been recorded then our loss would be what our loss would be less isn't it if income has been recorded in financial accounts they have directly given to you that this is happening in financial accounts so you don't have to look anything in costing okay leave the costing directly you can get the impact on financial loss yeah it's way better now because you don't have to go opposite and all that directly they are telling you that this is happening in financial books so you can see the effect on financial loss so now this is an income recorded in financial accounts if income is recorded your loss will be less simple so the transaction will be subtracted minus minus clear so interest on investment recorded in financial accounts 14000 interest on investment recorded in financial accounts fa financial accounts 14000 clear easy all right then we have goodwill return off now this goodwill return off is also purely financial item see here nothing they haven't told you anything so now here you have to understand you have to commit to your mind okay this is a purely financial item it has been only recorded in financial accounts clear so now it has been only recorded in financial account yeah so now what is the impact on financial loss first you have to understand whether it is an expense or income this is expense goodwill return off is an expense so expense is recorded only in financial account this goodwill return off so what would happen to our loss if expense is recorded our loss will be more positive relationship between loss and expense right so if expense is recorded in financial accounts our loss will be more expense more loss more expense more loss more yeah clear so now directly you got the impact on our target loss yeah so directly you can do it yeah plus plus so here you have to add this transaction goodwill return off only in fa financial accounts 9120 simple all right then we have the next transaction f income tax paid recorded in financial accounts now this is also a purely financial item okay if they haven't given if they wouldn't have given this recorded in financial accounts still you have to understand this is a purely financial item and you have to understand this is you know only recorded in financial accounts okay right it's 69280 now income tax paid is an expense we pay the tax to the government isn't it so it's an expense recorded in financial accounts so expense is recorded loss would be more expense more loss more simple so positive relationship and you have to see the impact now and the impact is positive yeah expense is recorded loss is more clear so now plus you have to add this transaction income tax paid recorded in financial accounts yeah see here income tax paid recorded in fa financial accounts 69280 clear yes then we have got stores adjustment in bracket they have given us credit in financial books now this stores adjustment is what this is an income because here they have told you credit okay so this is what income income has been recorded in financial books so what is the impact on financial loss income is recorded then what would happen to our loss income and loss have negative relationship if income is recorded then loss would be what less yes if income is recorded then loss will be less negative relationship right so loss will be less minus so this transaction has to be minus yeah it has to be subtracted yeah that's what we do whatever impact the transaction has on our target loss or profit that is exactly what we do in our solution isn't it so minus minus 
so the stores adjustment will be subtracted stores adjustment credit in fa only financial accounts only 760 as given in the question yeah and then the last transaction we have is loss in stock in financial accounts 10800 now this is what loss loss it means what definition of loss tell me loss means invisible expense yeah so it's an expense expense is recorded in financial accounts yeah so now what would happen if expense is recorded loss would be more expense more loss more so loss more right the impact is positive yes so plus if expense is recorded in financial accounts then loss would be more so that is the plus so now here if the impact is plus you have to add this transaction plus plus right so loss in stock in financial accounts 10,800 will be added loss in stock in financial accounts 10,800 we are done with all the transactions simple the only thing you have to understand is this only yeah see identify the transaction expense or income check the impact of transaction yeah if you can get that impact directly on financial loss on your target then it's way better because directly you can do you know plus and minus if you know if they say cost accounts cost accounts yeah like that then you have to first get the impact on costing loss then do the opposite in financial loss okay then whatever impact is there on financial loss do plus minus clear simple easy it's very easy yeah whatever impact is there on target profit or loss that's exactly what you have to do yes now let's put all of this into calculator and let's see the calculation yeah so see here first we start with the net loss as per cost accounts yeah take that into calculator 275,840 yes and then go on adding the transaction that needs to be added for plus 4,992 plus 9,120 plus 69,280 plus 10,800 that is equal to 3,70,032 rupees yes and then you have to deduct all these transactions that needs to be deducted yes 2080 minus 2720 minus 14,000 minus 760 that is equal to 350,472 this is your net loss as per financial accounts yeah you can verify your answer also if this is already given this target is already given in the question now here it is given net loss as per financial accounts 3,50,472 so we match up over here right so this answer is correct now so this is how you have to do it okay and while doing it in exam don't go on directly writing all this and doing solution like this no first you have to do it with pencil in rough format okay don't you know write it all everything no first take only the serial numbers or the serial alphabets whatever that is there if it is not then then you give the numbers okay one two three four five like that or a b c d e f g and then do the rough calculation with your calculator and with your pencil yeah and then if the answer is correct if you can verify then that's better if you can't verify then still try you know twice or thrice yeah once you're confident with your answer then do the presentation in this statement okay don't directly go on presenting the statement and then if you find your answer is wrong then you will have lost so much of time yeah so don't directly do it okay first do it with the pencil in rough format okay clear so simple right simple technique okay it's very easy it's very easy just solve two three problems and you will get it it's very simple okay so now that's it for this video see you in the next video okay bye